Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Chronicles of a Nonprofit, episode 41. Today is September the 8th, 2023, and I am so grateful that you are here on the podcast. I I see 42 people in the podcast. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for being a part of the teleprompter today. So, you know, there comes a time in an entrepreneur's journey where we may partner, collaborate, even have investors who are specific to, you know, what we're promoting. And we definitely may need their help and their support. But what happens when we have someone who has personal relationship issues at home, domestic violence, mental health? This is what I want to talk about today. I feel this is very important. It is so vitally important that it is all about how to help someone when we know that they're going through their issues. I want you to put in the chat what are some of your thoughts. How to help. Someone going through personal issues. And it can be anyone. It can be us. You know, we can be having an addiction that we're hiding from everyone. It could be that we are indulging in things that we're not supposed to indulge in, but we just don't have the wherewithal to stop the practice. All right, Naisha, she says, listen and be understanding. Yes. Listening and being understanding is a definite option. So what happens when the person doesn't share it with you, but you see it happening around them? So you go into their home. Their kitchen is a mess, a wreck. You try to explain to them that you will be there for them, that you will help them out because you understand that life or in life terms is a little difficult for everyone at times. But you know for a fact that this person has the willingness and the understanding to be able to take care of themselves, their hygiene, their, um, their cleanliness of their home but they just choose not to do so. Distractions. These are the things that we talk about on a daily basis here at Chronicles of a Nonprofit. Distractions are the biggest thing that will interfere and cause a great business idea to go under. Between that, the stress of having to deal with children that are going through their own mental health situations, everything. And then even having individuals who may initiate emotional triggers during certain times that are extreme to the individual's growth, the person who should be healing These triggers are very strong. You know, there was a time that I can remember having triggers (laughs) right in front of me, flaunting 
its energy around me during the time of my son's birthday. It's already a hard to deal with time. He's missed in the physical form, but yet there are people who are coming with their subliminal messaging. Now, I don't know if it was something that I expected to see just so I could be happy to see what life could possibly have been. That could be a scenario. That could truly be a scenario. Now, Janet is saying that... um, Let me see here. Janet says, should you even talk about personal problems at work? Well... That's a really good question because if you think about it, when you bring personal issues into the workplace, it does something. It shifts the energy. It causes things to possibly be out, get out of control. So I'm not quite sure. That's something that the environment of the um, office or the business will determine for itself. As a community advocate, I must talk about what is going on, whether it's what's going on out there in the world and society or what is taking place personally with clientele and help to relieve some of the stress by providing options. Um, Now, when we talk about personal issues, we can ask the question, a personal issue could be a person finding out that they're sick, a person finding out that they're pregnant, a person finding out that they're being cheated on, a person finding out that, you know, the money that was supposed to go towards investment for the business is not there. Um... These are very strong areas that people really and truly face. And how do you deal with that? A death of a, a, a significant... Um, how do you deal with that? Because what happens is you eventually will decide what's going to be done about it, but you need that kind of advice. That's why I got on to do the podcast today, and I am so grateful that everyone is here giving advice. I see the prompter moving steadily, and I'm grateful for that. I'm so grateful because what is happening is I'm getting tools to help others and help myself because sometimes these questions that are being brought up are questions that I ponder as an entrepreneur. So, personal problems. They're going to come as entrepreneurs. They're going to come. And we have to put in our mindset how we're going to handle them. Because, yes, at home, it's going to affect our character, our personality. We're going to be a little more emotional than most. We're going to be a little more either quiet if we're talkative, talkative if we're quiet. And so in those moments, we got to decide what is the amount of information that we share in the workplace as entrepreneurs to our clients when we're you know, being transparent, okay? They're asking us, you know, with something going on, is there anything that I could do to help? You seem a little distant, you seem different. So with that, you know, you have to be transparent. So you're going to give a little bit of the information. But how much of that information is enough to give in order to just let them know what's happening and then move on, move forward? Yeah, you're right. 
You're right, Nate. Nate, you you just said something that you just text something that is very vital. And that is what about the gossip center? When you have a person who takes that weakness and plays upon it, you start to see subliminal messaging in the areas that you may not want to see it. You may not want to recognize it. Psychologically, this world is unique when a person can truly have, oh my God, the opportunities to (laughs) express themselves openly through the First Amendment. We have the right of speech, freedom of speech. We can say what we want, but defamation and slander of others and the way that they take that information in helps us understand how much information we should share. You know, I, I'm dealing with something seriously personal right now, but there's certain things that I have to say in certain ways in order to get the result that I need to come forth to me as well as being respectful of the other person's confidentiality. That's difficult as well. Because the goal is to find a scenario that works critically to solve the equation for the solution to the problem in which we face. So you have hypothetically an individual who is going through some deep depression, very deep darkness, and you see this happening. You know that it is real. You understand that it is happening. And you see them going in a direction that is darker and darker. And then you have to help them by just letting go sometimes and that's that's the hardest that right there entrepreneurs say you're a teacher and you have a student who has been top notch in the class and now is dealing with emotional relationship issues don't know how to how, don't know how to handle them don't know where to go to find solace and peace and they have to come to the drawing board of chaos within that relationship. That individual is not going to be in their rightful thinking perspective if everything was stress-free, if money was flowing good, if the business was on point and clients were coming and everyone's happy. It's a different type of environment. So when this person comes and, and expresses or even non-verbally express, remove themselves, isolate themselves. That is an ultimate sign that there is a conflict of interest going on in the lives of the individual. And I don't mean a conflict of interest from entrepreneur business partnership. Entrepreneur experience conflict of interest within themselves and their relationship. And many of us has sat back and watched train wrecks happen because we tried our best to give the information. We tried our best to be open and respectful to sharing um, options. We've told individuals the need and the importance of counseling and social interaction. And yet, nothing happens. Where do we go from there, entrepreneurs? Oh yeah, that's another good one, Matthew. Understanding the legal rights of how much you can say, how much you can even interact in a person's life. 
You know, when you're in business, everyone seems to be so so happy. You give them the wrong information. You give them the wrong advice. You might have a legal fight on your hands. So that's another concept. That's another thought, you know, when we're dealing with uh, personal issues. And don't forget about burnout. People are just tired. They don't know how it's going to turn out. And this is the other onset of dealing with the business world. We don't know if our concept, our idea, our business design is going to be fruitful at this point as entrepreneurs starting. Those that are thinking about it, they're saying, oh my God, can I handle this? Can I handle the high and the low? But the reality of it is, yes, when you put yourself in a position where you can handle things because you have taken the initiative to challenge yourself, that is a step up to a expand up. You're going to expand eventually, you know, and it doesn't take, it's not going to be an overnight situation. So... Alexa, we're talking about um, personal crisis. That's a really good point. When When you say personal crisis, what are you saying? Because we talked about relationship issues and, you know, but, you know, these personal crises. Oh, the weight of the world being on your shoulder, you have no one to turn to. So now we we have to use that discernment to talk about how much of our information we're going to share. Because, yeah, you can go and ask fellow business partners for advice, but the reality is what if they give us too much advice? What if they don't know when enough is enough, when to stop talking about what it is that you're experiencing. Yeah, Alexa, I like that. Um, I figure that we can look at some options now. Let's look at some options of the things that we would consider as options. So you go to your business partner's house, um, they're having an issue with their significant other. Um, the significant other is going out, having their life, doing their thing while the, you know, a business partner is at the house, you know, constantly taking care of everyday things and then working and then stressing and overzealously, you know, being happy. And then there's a burnout. There's a time where the smiles and the, the I'm okay no longer feels good. And that's where we are sometimes. And the options that we can give that individual. Learn how to relax. If you have to go and sit in the vehicle and just shut everybody out. If someone comes to bam on the door, needs you for something, no. Take the keys and go down the street. Go around the block, sit, breathe. Meditate, reflect on what the next situation is that you're going to handle, how you're going to handle. Get out and get fresh air. Sunlight. Sunlight is the best thing that can be given. You know, yes, it's it's hot. You know, global warming is hitting its 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 peak and it's just really, really humid. And but to go out and just breathe in some sunlight somewhere for five minutes if that's what it takes. But do something for yourself. Please don't blame others for the position that we find these individuals in. 
You know, it's not the son's fault, the daughter's fault, the cousin's fault, the brother's fault, the aunt's fault, the death of the parent. Do not use those as excuses to get to where you're trying to go because what will happen is you will begin to feel the world on your shoulder, as you say, Alexi, Alexa. Um, you begin to feel the world on your shoulder and what takes place is that can be heavy to carry. And then you begin to blame him and her and him and her and the little kid and the, the light for being read too long. And it just gets so ridiculous. Now, when you are an entrepreneur and you're dealing with these personal issues with your business partner, your investor, when you have deadlines to meet, when you have success to pull in your business, it is valuable that you keep open communication. You must have open communication to make sure that this is going to be a success for you. The relationship is going to be a success for you. So you want to listen very clearly. You want to listen to the cues. If people stop communicating, that is because they are not trying to handle the situation at hand. They're isolating themselves. They're diverting their attention to something else. And that is not good. It's not good. Because other people are involved in the relationship and it will take time for that individual to heal the way that they should. To heal. To, um, so no one else should have to be involved in the growing of this if the individual is truly transparent, truly communicating. Um, so you want to listen and then you want to ask if, if there's anything that you can do to help them. Once we've done that, so you go into this <laughs> business partner's house and you see ramen noodles packages, you see meat packages and flies flying over the meat packages and you just see some things that just are totally out of place, no type of organization, but you know this person is an, organ, an organized individual. You know that this person has the qualities to organize and put together things to a perfection, but yet nothing is being done. You ask if there's something that you can do to help them and if they tell you to leave them alone, then that's exactly what you do. Don't take it personal. You leave them alone, but you move your business. You steer that ship in the direction of getting help elsewhere. Because if not, all of these holes will eventually sink the ship of entrepreneurship. And after you ask the question, do you need help? I'm willing to open myself to you truly and honestly be open to help them. Hey, I see that you're a little bit, you know, lax on the way that you normally keep your house. Um, things are not looking healthy here. Um, can I come over and spend an hour a week to help you organize it? And, you know, you're being told no, then you move forward. You let go you let go, especially when this person can be a child, a grandchild, a sister, a brother. You just give space. And that is the most realistic thing to do. There may also come a time where when you, before you give the space, you initiate the conversation of what you've experienced, what you've witnessed, what you saw, how it has affected you, and it may be straight to the point, it may be blunt, and it may be difficult. But for you to carry the burden of the depression 
or the weakness of the mental health issues that's not being, you know, supported by even the person, then you bear the weight of the world that Alexa is talking about. I'm going to give you a few more and then we're going to head on out of here. Decide what you're going to allow. What are you going to allow in your business? What is going to move and motivate you to say, I'm going to stay here and wait for this person to get out of this stupor? How long will it take? Will it be 30 days, 60 days, 90 days? If they're an assistant and they can't make the grade for the business meetings that you have going out, how are you going to handle that? And what type of effect is that going to do to your business over time? Have a support system. You contact others to help you. You put things into perspective so that you are on a balanced scale that it all makes sense to you. You understand what's going on and you try your best to do your best to help the individual move forward. You know? We're doing this to move forward. We're doing this to move forward. And then provide a support system that is going to be efficient for you. And then you make those difficult plans. You finally make those plans to walk away, to sever the ties of the relationship that is not being supported and supportive to you as an entrepreneur. And watch how your energy continues to grow. Thank you, thank you so much for being here, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to this podcast. And if you need business consultation services, please feel free to contact me at the number in front of you or email me at scales to success LLC at gmail.com. I'm so grateful that you're here. And wherever you are on social media, please share this video because someone may be in need of this type of conversation and you will be the one that will provide them the opportunity by just thinking about how to handle hard hitting situations in life when we're dealing with entrepreneurship thank you god bless you and we'll see you next time